Good afternoon, my real news media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update. And in the news of this afternoon, Shopee killed in Stonehill two weeks after getting shot at a football match. A mere two weeks after being shot repeatedly at a football game, 37 year old Adrian Shopee Hines was killed at his gate on Erie Castle Road in Stonehill, St. Andrew, by a gunman who rained the bullets on the already injured target. Hines was one of two persons shot on September 29 while he sat recording a match at a night of football competition that was in progress in the TC parking lot in Stonehill Square. On that occasion, men alighted from a motor vehicle and opened fire in his direction. Hines was rushed to hospital where he was treated and released. Reports are that sometime after 10 p.m. Saturday night, Hines was at his gate when a gunman opened a fire, hitting him several times. He was rushed to the Kingston Public Hospital, where he died while undergoing surgery. But can not believe Adrian got shot up again? Him not even recover fully from the last attack. Why did mama mash up the hills with the violence? A whole heap of shot fired, a resident said. The brazenness of the attacks has left the community current in fear. It simply means that someone wanted this man dead. They didn't get it done the first time and they came back to complete what they started. He was a martyr for death. That's exactly what this onslaught means, an investigator said at the scene. The scene was littered with his casings as investigators laid out the markers to capture evidence. The Constant Spring Criminal Investigations Branch is probing the murder. The St. Andrew North Police Division has seen an increase in murders and the shootings this year. As at October 5, the division recorded 51 murders, 7 more or a 16% increase year on year. Likewise, there were 7 more reported shooting incidents with a 56, a 14% increase over the corresponding period last year. Man killed along roadway in above rocks in St. Catherine. The St. Catherine police have launched a probe following the discovery of the body of an unidentified man along a roadway in Above Rocks in the parish early Sunday morning. About 2.20 a.m., the police responded to reports of explosions in Above Rocks and they proceeded to a section of the community called Rosalie Lane in Barnett District. On their arrival, the body was found with what appeared to be gunshot wounds. The body was removed to the Linstead Hospital where death was confirmed. Gunman shot in field bar robbery in St. Anne, licensed firearm holder, reportedly saved the day by challenging armed man. A man who is reported to have been a gunman engaged in an armed robbery attempt remains hospitalized under police guard after he was shot and wounded by a licensed firearm holder during the robbery at a bar on Friday night. The police have launched a manhunt for the wounded man accomplice who fled the scene. Reports are that about 11.50 p.m. on Friday, patrons were gathered at the bar when two men, one of whom was armed with a gun, entered and demanded cash and other valuables. During the robbery, a licensed firearm holder challenged the armed man and it is believed that gunshots were traded between them. Further reports are that the gunman and his accomplice ran from the bar. Following checks, a man who is believed to have been the gunman was found on the roadway suffering from gunshot wounds. The wounded man was taken to the hospital where he was admitted for treatment. The police believe the other robber may have been shot as a trail of blood was observed in the vicinity of the scene where the wounded man was found. Investigations are ongoing into the overall developments. Gang influence within schools in St. James reduced, says senior cop. The St. James police are claiming success in their efforts to curtail incidents of school violence in the parish. Additionally, the level of gangsters wielding their influence in schools has also been reduced, according to head of the St. James Police Division, Superintendent Aaron Samuels. The developments have come as the parish continues to see a downward trend in major crimes since the start of the year. In delivering the police report at the Thursday's monthly meeting of the St. James Municipal Corporation, Samuels has said the Safe Schools program and other community-based policing activities are being prioritized even more 
given the downward crime trend in the parish. With the reductions in crime that we're seeing, it has caused us to focus a little bit more on the interactions that we the police have in the communities and the schools, the senior cop said. And we've seen some real work being done within the schools and the incidence of the influence of gangsters within the schools have been reduced, Samuels stated. He pointed to the police's recommendations on that issue being adopted by some schools in St. James, including Spotter Valley High School. We're happy to note that some of the recommendations that we've made to some of the schools have been put in place. One in particular, I must publicly say, the Spot Valley High School has put in place their perimeter fencing and the cameras, said Samuels. Over the years, there have been concerns that the close proximity between schools and the crime hotspots in western parishes may have an impact on the behavior of some students. Nationally, calls have been made for even more intervention by the police in schools as gangs were targeting young people from early ages. Meanwhile, the senior law enforcer said he was happy to announce the good work being done by the police in St. James in cauterizing the crime situation there. Happy to announce that we've been seeing some good work being done by the members of the division and because of such, we've seen some reduction in the incidence of crime since the start of the year albeit that we've had some in very recent time issues in the Lilliput space. We're doing as best as we can to get the information to cauterize the situation which we have been doing of recent, said the Samuels. At least 11 killed during road crashes during week ending October 11, says RSU. At least 11 people were killed in motor vehicle crashes during the week ending Friday, October 11, this has pushed to 290 the number of road users killed on the nation's roads since the start of the year. The latest road accident statistics were released on Friday by the Road Safety Unit, which is located in the Island Traffic Authority. It said that the 290 deaths resulted from 249 fatal crashes. Fatalities have decreased by 11% while fatal crashes are down by 18% when compared with 2023. According to the RSU, fatalities as of the end of September 2024 are projected to decrease by 9% when compared with the previous year. Meanwhile, pedestrians accounted for 19% of the road users killed as of October 11, motorcyclists accounted for 33%, Private motor vehicle drivers accounted for 17% and the private motor vehicle passengers accounted for 12%. Vulnerable road users such as pedestrians, pedal cyclists, motorcyclists and pillion riders accounted for a combined 59% of the road users killed as of October 11. Overall, passengers accounted for 22% of the fatalities during the month under review. And the RSU said males and the females accounted for 84% and 16% respectively of the road fatalities during October. In the meantime, Area 1, which is Trelawney, St. James, Hanover and Westmoreland, accounted for 35% of the road deaths. Area 2, which is Portland, St. Mary and St. Anne, accounted for 15%. Area 3, St. Elizabeth, Manchester and Clarendon, accounted for 17%, and the Air 4, Kingston Central, Kingston Eastern, Kingston Western, St. Andrew Central, and the St. Andrew South, accounted for 11%. Air 5, which comprises St. Andrew North, St. Catherine North, St. Catherine South, and the St. Thomas, accounted for 22% of the road fatalities as of October 11, 2024. Guys, thank you for watching. See you this evening at 6 p.m. for another news update.